Welcome, this is Imdog from Imdog Gaming, and we are playing Hunter Classic. And uh, picking up this video here, in the midst of a hunt at, um, well, shoot, what's the place called? Hirschenfelden? <laughs> uh, Hirschen, sorry. It's uh, one of the many maps that you can hunt at hunting reserves that you can go to here in Hunter Classic. And we are actually trying to hunt uh, a wild boar. And I know we're close to one. I'm trying to actually call it in a little bit here. We're not in the necessarily in the best spot for this, but Trying to make do with the situation that we have found ourselves in. Was going to try to use our shotgun. Slugs are ethical ammunition in the 12 gauge shotgun for hunting the hogs and boar in the game. And so that is basically what we're trying to do. This is the first video I have uh, attempted to make for Hunter Classic. If you've been to my channel before, you've probably seen a lot of Russian Fishing 4 videos over the past few months. and. I certainly hope to continue with those, but I have been playing a lot of Hunter Classic lately. And whenever I play a lot of a game, I start thinking about, man, I just want to try to get some videos made to uh, be able to show other folks what I've been up to and uh, see if it can be helpful information that I try to try to communicate. So I know that this, uh, this guy wasn't too far off recently and so it all depends on how well this caller is actually bringing him in depends on if he's gotten spooked could have got picked up my scent wait i hear something walking oh there it is there he is okay we've got him identified it is a male let's let him get in a little closer and let's take our shot He's, he's good. He's close enough. I was trying to get him pretty close based on a comp that I was in. Let's see if we can... Alright, he did not come for us, so... And I'm not sure how good that shot was, but... This may give us an opportunity. What I was hoping we might be able to do in this video is show you how to use the Bloodhound. The uh, old trusty scent hound and let's call our dog to us and uh, let's go up here now we don't want to approach where a hog or a boar was without a weapon handy because they you never know they could turn and charge us but let's check out this shot let's see first of all here's another trail the roe deer let's check out and see how to get a shot this was I actually think it's gonna be a pretty good shot based on the blood splatter yeah, lungs and heart. So this guy didn't go far. He's probably just up ahead of us, down and out. But this still is a good opportunity to show you how. So there's three dogs available in this game. And in many respects, the dogs are some of my favorite parts of the game. Because I think I've always in games just enjoyed companionship. Uh, anytime there's pets or you know things that you can have with you in a game even though the hunting in, in this game is great and if you've never played it this is a pretty deep hunting simulator you may have hunt, heard of the hunter call of the wild that is a, um, uh, a, a sort of the same the same develop developers of this game um, also made hunter call of the wild hunter call of the wild was a more recent game hunter call of the wild is also a game where you pay eh, basically one price and you have the whole game Hunter Classic is a much older game, and it um, is very in-depth, it's very broad, it's very deep, uh, but it's always also always good to let someone know in advance that it is a free-to-download-and-try game, but it is certainly not a free-to-play game, and, and the folks that get really deep in this game, you actually can spend quite a bit of money uh, just based on how you approach the game and how heavily you deep it and dive in and how quickly you try to do that. But all that being said, this is Hunter Classic. 
I'm enjoying it. Um, and one of the things I really like are the dogs. So let me show you how this works. So if you look at a blood trail and you hold down V, which opens up your dog commands, if you have a scent hound with you, you can do track blood. You need to be in a standing position. I found that if you are kneeling or certainly laying down, the command doesn't seem to work. And then our uh, trusty dog Artemis, she's gonna get a whiff of that blood and then she is gonna go find that, find that prey. And because I don't think the shot was good enough that I'm suspecting this hog has actually dropped pretty close by, she will probably find it really quick here. Now this, yep, she already found it. You hear her barking? She has found it. She's barking to let us know. Now here's a trick. Here's a tip. If you don't want her to bark, let's say you used a crossbow and you downed something with a crossbow and you don't want to spook other animals. Once you get her started, you have to start in a standing position, but once you get her started, you can then kneel and then she won't bark. If you're kneeling, she won't bark. She'll just go and stare at it and <laughs> let you know that she found it. But if you're standing, she will bark to let you know, hey, I found it. So once you, uh, let's look at Artemis here. She's level 10. Now, the first few times you use a scent hound, they are, imagine them as if, as if they're a puppy. They have to be trained. So it can be a little touch and go, their tracking ability in the beginning. And I'm just claiming different tracking things here before we get the hog before, um, so that uh, we can level that up. But first few hunts, you're gonna have to sort of help her along, get her back on the blood trail every once in a while. But it, they level up quickly, and it just doesn't take that long until they are great at, at tracking. So let's go ahead and take, take a look at this wild boar. Um, so we had a pretty good score there, 582, 997. Actually, I haven't hunted these enough to have any idea on, um, you know, on how good of an animal this is in terms of size and and all that so I'm pulling up something so I can actually check it to see what the minimum and maximum scores are uh, it's a good way to I mean I try to have these resources open because I haven't been playing the game very long I don't have all this good information in my head but um, if it's a really big animal sometimes you want to send it to the taxidermist to keep it it looks like the maximum score goes all the way up to 1310 so this is nowhere near maximum and uh, this is only found on Hirschfelden Reserve, so this is the only place you can hunt these. There are some color variations. There's a common and then an albino. Um, and you see the, the weight there and everything. So that's, that's the information that you see once you, have, once you have found the animal. You can get information about where you hit it. This hit actually went in the body, hit the skull shoulder blade, right lung, and intestine. So that slug really did some damage there and thankfully was able to bring the boar down pretty quickly. So we're gonna resume. We're not gonna send it to the taxidermist. That was our first wild boar that we've ever taken down. You see, we got the achievement, but, um, oh, I guess that, that did qualify for a comp that I was in, that's cool. Uh, so, but basically, like I said, I wanted to show you that, um, just how fun it can be to use the scent hound and especially if you like what well, a lot of times what i'll do is i'll be in a tree stand or a blind um, or i'll be just you know wandering around a map but i'll be hunting a lot with uh, with a bow um, and when you're doing that you know sometimes you'll fold the animal immediately but a lot of times you'll hit them and, and they'll take off running and that's when i love having one of my least favorite parts of the game and especially of hunter call of the wild when i've played that in the past was following the long trails of hurt animals. <laughs> uh, you know, when you're, I'm not a great shot all the time, and so sometimes you have to go track those animals down. And to have Artemis here really be able to help me out with that, it is great. And that's really the only purpose for Artemis is tracking those injured animals. There are two other dogs, and, and I, maybe at some point I'll make a video on those. They, um, uh, one of them is basically just a retriever and it's for when you're doing bird hunting, geese hunting, or duck hunting. And they basically just go out and get your bird and bring it back to you so you don't have to be wandering all over the place as you shoot birds with your shotgun or whatever. And then the other animal is more of a pointer type dog. And it, it's a little more complex. It, it can help you actually track animals to hunt for. And so that one would be uh, interesting to kind of break down a little bit more. But um, 
anyway, I don't. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and wrap up this. Let's, let's keep this video short. I I don't. I didn't know exactly where to jump in. I don't know how much of an appetite there is for videos on uh, Hunter Classic. I certainly do not presume to believe that for folks that have been playing this game for a long time, uh, I have much to share in terms of uh, new information. Um, I am sometimes in Discord when I'm streaming this game with people who just you know know infinitely more about both this game and even just hunting in general than I do. Uh, much like many of my RF4 videos, I would say it's uh, I'm more appropriate to be able to share with new players just to kind of give you an idea of what different aspects of the game are like. And um, but uh, this has been good. I, I've enjoyed this little this quick little hunt. We started at this lodge, went by the stand, and then kind of saw some some uh, tracks for the boar, and we're able to go right to kind of where they were leading us realized that we were getting fairly close and just started to call them in and they came right in so sometimes it just works out that easily but believe me it doesn't always work out that easily so um, but as always thanks for watching and uh, you know if you have any questions comments if if you know if you have ideas or, or things that you'd like to know about this game please feel free to let me know in the in the comments section I will try to remember to post uh, there's actually a referral link that if you sign up for the game, if you want to try it, you can sign up through my referral link and I'll get some little toys, gadgets to play with and you'll get some toys and, and currency to be able to play with. And it's not a lot, but it's, it's it can help you kind of get started. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, M-Dog is out.